I've been working in retail for about 10 years and um, when you're working in retail, especially at the, the corporate retail, like the bottom, you know, sort of uh, hourly store job, uh, there isn't really a, a, you know, tons of opportunity for you to be creative. You, your labor and your time is, is meant to facilitate the ideology of the institution, you know, the sort of day-to-day -day business transactions and so forth. And for a while after I finished undergrad, um, I, you know, had a lot of student loans to pay back. And so I really had to focus on working. And for a while, I kind of created these two binaries where I was like, if I'm working at retail, then I'm not doing art. So Home Depot House started as um, a project where I was working at the Home Depot in Providence, Rhode Island, where I live, and I was invited by the curators at the De Cordova to contribute a, a work to the biennial exhibition. And uh, I really wanted to choose something that was about my workplace, about the fact that I am an artist, but also, you know, working a day job. And I wanted to do something that was, that involved my employment at the Home Depot, a project that wasn't really a, a guerrilla project necessarily, but something that was, you know, sanctioned by the institution. Um, and so I partnered with store management and um, associates, other uh, Home Depot employees to come together and have, you know, a conversation about creativity and expression and um, to make a work that would be showcased at the Home Depot um, and really involve the individuals who contributed to it. So really the collective aesthetic of the cabin really refers to these conversations, you know, the materials that were used, what materials we could get for cheap or donated by the Home Depot. Also the skills that the certain members that helped, the volunteers that helped me build the house led to, you know, you know how a hardwood floor is made or how to install a window or how to drywall the walls and put a roof on. The way that those are constructed led to the look of the house and, and how it operated. Um, so for me, my work really is about embedding myself within certain institutions that, to ask questions about creativity, and that's what I'm doing here at the De Cordoba as well. Collaboration and, and sort of the formation of, of a collective aesthetic is something that's really important in my work. Uh, having people contribute you know, via conversation, via relations, um, having them contribute to the way that objects are made and, and the way that they're constructed or the materials that are used, and also the space that the objects that I make or we make exist in um, really help to contextualize value and, and why certain things are important, why they are specific. Um, and I think that's, you know, Home Depot House really involves a lot of that. It involves a lot of uh, materials and, and the individuals who helped create Home Depot House um, help to define the value of it. So it, it's valuable to Home Depot in the fact that it was about, you know, us as associates working together to make something. Since I've been here, uh, I started a series of plein air paintings that I, I have a little easel and I take it out to the yard and, and paint some pictures of the landscape. So I'm sketching some sculptures and um, I actually bring them back into the house and they are for sale. The items that are in the Home Depot house are, are really a collection of, of my personal belongings, things that I have in my studio, books, um, you know, remnants of me working here, coffee cups and clamps. And, different items, that um, tools that I would use uh, as part of my practice. This is a, an old uh, apron that I had from Home Depot where uh, I worked in the paint department and, and it kind of has, well it has tons of paint on it and it became this really thick sculptural painting. For me it just, it helps to create, you know, more of a, uh, an environment that is cohesive for my particular working. Um, and I also want the space to look lived in and feel comfortable. But for Home Depot House, I was really able to combine these two things into a project that 
was sanctioned by Home Depot, as well as allowing a venue for me to really explore the value of creativity, not only in myself, but also the other employees that were working with me. And so that was extremely rewarding to be able to finally be okay with these two things. <laughs>